Now today I was looking at this uh, question on the community from Hamilton Watkins and Hamilton Watkins is asking about uh, how to create multi-phase project ticket template in Jira and uh, he has not really mentioned the hosting type but this question if you read this question is basically trying to ask uh, how to create some kind of a phased scenario or uh, some kind of a, a setup where the issue or the task or the activity will go through multiple phases and he has given some examples like uh, each phase would represent items that needed to be completed internally by a certain member of staff so this is one thing. Example would be tracking of onboarding of a new client. Phase 1 sales side, phase 2 sale to sale engineer, phase 3 documentation gathering. Is this product capable of doing what other applications such as ConnectWise or Autotask can do? Now this is a typical use case for Jira workflows and I have already replied to Hamilton. Now, in case you don't know, Jira has workflows and it is one of the most uh, powerful feature in the tool. Of course, there are other features, but uh, workflows are definitely amazing. Now, you have to first understand how Jira works. So I'll give you like a two minute summary. So within Jira, you can have different projects. So maybe your HR team can have one project, your finance team can have one project. You can create multiple projects for different teams like maybe your development teams can have their own project. Now within a project, you have issues. So Jira project is nothing but a collection or a bucket of issues. Now those issues, although issue, the word issue sounds like uh, something really bad, like issue, but it is not. In Jira terminology, issue is nothing but uh, a generic term for activity or task. Now. Within a project, you can have issue types and those issue types could be onboarding, offboarding, recruitment, that are of course, that are of course applicable for HR projects. You can also have bug stories, tasks for development kind of activity. And maybe uh, you can uh, create your own custom issue types. So it is really up to you how you want to define and create those custom issue types. and. Uh, what issue types you will have within a project is something that you define. Although Jira comes with the uh, templates that you can use immediately and you can get started very quickly, but you always have the control to modify it and define your own template or your own schemes. In Jira, these configurations are stored or applied to a project using a scheme. And of course you have workflows. So I've just given you enough information to get started because uh, when you have issue types, let us say when you create a new onboarding request, now how that particular onboarding request will uh, will go through uh, or the, the life cycle of that particular request is something that you define in the workflow. And that workflow is something that I believe uh, is uh, exactly what you're looking for. You need workflows, you need to create the workflows for your uh, multi-phase project ticketing template. Basically using workflows you can, uh, I mean you can assign the issue to someone then you can reassign the issue to someone else and when you do this reassignment you can maybe ask the user to fill in some additional information. So when you create a workflow in Jira you have different states and, wh and when the issue goes through one state to another state you can capture additional information. So workflows uh, in a workflow you have a state and you have a transition. Transition is something that uh, uh, is represented by these lines. So you can have multiple states and you have transitions and when you go from one state to another state in between you can capture, you can basically display a screen or a form to capture more information. And there are so many other things that you can do with, so many wonderful things that you can do with workflows. You can control who can do this transition, who can go from one state to another state. You also have the option to do some automation. Let us say the moment you start the progress of the work, let us say you're talking about onboarding. The moment you start the progress of onboarding request, maybe you want to trigger some automation, maybe you want to create some 
other activities automatically like uh, for onboarding you may want to let us say you're talking about onboarding of uh, a resource a new person joining your company so you can uh, basically create a request for their access card their their hardware or you know whatever assets that you want to give them and so many other things so just to give you an example so if you want to create something like a multi-phase thing in uh, in jira you can definitely do that using uh, workflows and uh, people who are new to jira people who are absolutely beginner and if you're wondering whether this can be done in jira jira is actually known for her for uh, their workflows these are really powerful thing the, i mean workflows bring lot of uh, it can bring lot of uh, uh, features or not really features but i should say it can actually let you control lot of things and and uh, workflow is of course one aspect of how people work on their activities but uh, all the all the other things like uh, what you want to capture when you go from one state to another state um, and uh, to whom you want to assign or reassign the issue or the activity something that you can control so there are a lot of other aspects in the beginning i would say if you are new to jira create a project with a template and uh, when you create a project with a template it could be jira service task or jira software you will have some predefined configurations that will help you in getting started and you will get a very good idea about the capabilities of the tool and uh, when you know what jira can do then think about uh, customizing it and uh, that is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this vi video and you learned something new today thank you very much